Hi guys and welcome back to another Sonic Academy video tutorial. In this one we're going to take a look at the new features that will be launching in Kick 3.1. Um, so this is a beta that's going out shortly um, and we're going to run through all of the new features and enhancements we've made to this version. Okay so I've got our uh, Kick 3 update loaded here. Um, there's quite a few new features to go through so I'm going to go through them one by one. I've got a, a list of them here. Um, so the first big one, or the first couple of big ones, we now have a couple new envelopes. So we've got this, I'll start with this one. So this is our distortion envelope. So you click on it and you'll see this uh, em new envelope pops up. And this allows you to um, adjust the mix of that distortion on your, just on a sub, a sub layer. And you'll notice the, uh, the waveform updates that as you increase that. And then you can use your envelope to control that over time so we can have the distortion going the whole way across, or we can have it only maybe affecting the start of our kick um, and coming in, or sorry, not affecting the start and coming in a bit later. Okay, and then you can also, um, if you click uh, the left and right buttons, you can cycle through um, the different distortion models we have, um, and you can also click this drop down and you can select them from a list. A couple of them you'll need to dial back a bit. But you can get really creative with this. Um, the next one, moving on from that, is our harmonics tab. So same kind of thing. If you click on that, you'll get a new envelope here. Um, you'll notice that the envelopes top left get sort of deselected. Um, and if you click it away from any of these, it'll, it'll go back to where you were. So if we click on the harmonics, you can do the same thing. So um, this is your, your mix knob. Um, and then you've got, if you've got any harmonics dialed in here. Historically, um, harmonics would just sort of um, be mixed in either 100% um, down to zero and it would be across the whole waveform. But here we can uh, use this envelope to have it only sort of coming in um, at whatever point in the wave you want. And you can sort of combine these together. Moving on from those two updates, we also have an update to our click section. Um, so if we go across the clicks, you can now use a pre-delay, uh, which will allow you to uh, shift that click on a wee bit for those of you that wanted uh, that feature. So use this here and I'll... you can use up to 250 milliseconds but usually you'll just be in this sort of range here um next up we've got right okay under the subs we have this actually is not the correct version sorry but that i actually had the, a slightly older version loaded up so i was going to go through this uh update to the, the nodes um but i noticed that we didn't it wasn't actually working so now it's updated we've got an uh, a change to how you can enter manual nodes or you'll notice um, when the nodes get down to a certain level, I think it's maybe 5,000 or something, um, you'll start to see decimal points, maybe 1,000, yeah 1,000 hertz. So you'll see the decimal points, there were, uh, being, um, there were decimal points in the nodes before, they just weren't being shown on screen. But you can actually see that and you can also, if you right click on a node, you can enter a value and you can put um, whatever you want. So you can put down two decimal points and you can set it to a value manually like that. Next on from that, we have gate release times. So load an 808 up. Long one maybe. 
Okay, so in your settings, uh, we now have a get release time, so you can set this to whatever you want. So a lot of people, or well, some people, were complaining and they didn't have control over this value. So whatever you set this to is what your release time will be on at the end of when you've got this get mode on. I think uh, it's usually 50 milliseconds, so you can set it to whatever you want. I'll just set it back to default. Another uh, improvement in the sub area, we have the length control. So if you hold uh, shift on your keyboard, you can now select um, beat grid markers. So if you want to set your length to 1 16th, 32, 8 quarter, whatever it is you want to set it to for whatever reason. And you can also type that in. So if you just type in one half, That'll work it out based on whatever your tempo of your track is. So one eighth. That'll work that out. Another thing you might have noticed is that the simplify section at the top right here, that's been moved. Um, it's now in a, a menu. So if you want to simplify, you can click that and you can you can use the, the same slider in here. Um, that was just to accommodate this longer sub preset section so we can see the file names sometimes it got a bit long in this section and it was getting cut off so we've got that there now if we move over to our browser we've got a bunch of new features in here so i'll go through the first one which is our audition so let's just pick a section so when you turn on audition it's gonna preview And that will also work in your click section. So if you've got audition on. You can now cycle through. And here everything, or you can turn that off and that won't do it. You've also got some sorting. So we can sort by recent, you can sort by name, and you can go up or down on that there. So it's useful whenever you've got a lot of uh, new imported or analyzed files, you can find the most uh, recent version of that. Moving over to our effects section, we have a few new effects in here. So uh, let's just load up our menu. Um, you'll notice we now have, let's see, high gain. Um, we'll maybe get a different preset here. Effects. Again. We also got a ping pong delay. We have a Verbitron, which has come across from Anna. That's the three new effects that have been put in. If we go back to our uh, main menu, we have a few quality of life improvements. So, well, actually, I'll maybe cover the favorites first. So, if we go into here, um, you'll notice we now have this heart section, um, and this is a, a favorites tab. So, uh, yours will actually maybe say favorites here, and then <clears throat> green, yellow, orange, red, I think it is. So, uh, this is for categorizing your presets. So, if you go through your presets and you like the sign of one, uh, let's pick one in here. Say you wanted this one, you can right click on it and you can assign it a color. Um, you can assign it multiple colors, you can clear the colors and you can also use the keys on your keyboard. So one, two, three, four, five correspond to the colors. One, two, three, four, five. And same five, four, three, two, one, I'll take it away. So if we put that in one, not in two, three, four, five and go into our favorites. We've got that in one, two, three, four, five. And you can also shift and click across a few of them and assign them with your keyboard or unassign them, whatever you want. So it's a good way to keep things uh, categorized or if you like the sound of particular presets and wanna remember them for later. It works in the clicks menu too. It works in the sub menu, I think does <clears throat> um, the names that you give in, in these sections here will will copy across so if you change this to uh, favorite 
that it'll be the same name in here so just keep that in mind a couple other features then if we go to our clicks menu you can notice on uh, the bottom here we have under pan we can select the uh, defaults the stereo but you can select mono left or right channel so if you want to um, select different channels of the stereo click that you're bringing in um, export you can now click on the export and it'll play that you can also click on the each layer you can solo that without having to solo and play for these layers down at the bottom you can also click and drag them into new positions now and if you hold shift or is it alt let me just check alt um you can uh, copy those layers across so um, if you want to make a duplicate layer or move the layers or remove the layers you can also in your sub um you were able to extend the length you can now shorten the length so that'll keep all your nodes in position changing the the length of this sort of area you're working with okay so that's all of the features from this beta if you've got any feedback please drop it into our discord channel or onto our forums i'll leave the links to both of those in the description below